Hi, I'm QDC. What we're going to build today is Dragon's Panther Model G Lake Production. And this is a uh, part of a comic book series uh, from Japan called, and for those German viewers who are out there, I have to apologize for my poor pronunciation of the German language. It's called The Etzelung des Schwarzen Ritters, which is the narrative of the Black Knight. And it's a comic book series uh, written by an artist. His name is um, Motofumi Kobayashi from Japan. Um, I never saw or read any of his comics, but I guess in Japan he's fairly famous. And so Dragon has actually made a, um, a set of models um, based upon his comics. And he's famous for, I guess, um, just making uh, comics based on World War II um, German armor. So the reason why I bought this was mainly because it was on sale. And I was just a little curious about how Dragon would make um, their model tanks based upon um, comic book series. So let's go ahead and start building this kit now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have photo edge parts, Commander's Cupola, DS tracks, Dry sprockets, upper hull, lower hull, top turret, gun mallet, figures, not sure what that is. wheels and the instruction sheet okay so from my experiences working with dragon model kits um, building model kits excuse me i've learned that dragon especially the smart kits like this one that, uh, that, I'm, built, that I'm about to build it's not the easiest to, uh, to build because the instruction sheets are so poor so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to follow the instructions from 1 to, I'm not sure how it goes to, 1 to, um, 1 to 17. And then I'm going to see where this takes me. I want to show you something pretty cool about Dragon. Dragon has faithfully reproduced uh, the suspension system for this Panther tank. The Panther tank uses a very, very uh, advanced suspension system called a torsion bar suspension system. And this is the torsion bar right here. Um, during World War II, the, the two prominent type of suspension systems is a coil spring system or a leaf spring system. Uh, system. But the Germans back in World War II um, used for this particular tank, the torsion bar system in which this bar, when uh, pressure goes back and forth like this, the bar would twist back into its shape and thus causing a uh, spring-like suspension. Very advanced for its time. And Dragon has faithfully reproduced that suspension system onto this model and included the interior as well. Excellent. I like it. I just finished installing the suspension system and I want to tell you what I think about this so far. 
This model kit is very impressive. Um, with all the wheels put together, it looks very well detailed and very realistic. And I like the way uh, Dragon uh, offered the torsion bar system right over here. It's very impressive. You're looking at the hull of the tank and I'm pointing at the front fender. I'm going to represent that this vehicle has some battle damage. So I'm going to bend the fender. I'm going to use my fingers and just simply bend the fenders. Here's a quick tip on using photo etch parts. Um, some of you have never used photo etch parts or didn't care too much to use it. But uh, photo etch parts, it's not that hard to actually use. Now, this is made out of metal. And to remove this, it's very similar to actually uh, working with plastic parts. I'm going to use a ordinary hobby knife and then this will be cut in the areas where it needs to be cut. Like so. And then I'm going to use super glue to glue it onto place. I'm going to talk to you more about Dragon's um, DS track system right over here. Above it is the traditional uh, vinyl track system, which I call the rubber band uh, track system. And the, de the details of this traditional tracks are not that good. And it's hard to put it on because you have to use hot iron to actually uh, fasten these things together. On the other hand, Dragon's DS, DS track system is very well detailed. Uh, as you can well see from the bottom. And the good part about it is that you don't have to use a hot iron to actually assemble this together. You could use ordinary plastic model cement. When you use rubber band tracks, there is a certain challenge that you have to overcome. Now, as you can well see, the tracks um, on the upper part of this track is actually going flopping up and not resting on top of the wheels as it's, as it's supposed to be in reality. So since this is Dragon's DS track system, I can use ordinary uh, plastic model cement and glue the tracks onto the plastic wheels right over here. Right over here are three pieces of aluminum foil that are crumpled up and I'm going to use them as inserts to hold the tracks down and then uh, using ordinary cement to glue it in place. So I just completed um, construction of the model kit and now it's time for me to sh uh, show you what I think about this kit I've built so far. Take a look. This is the completed model kit before painting and I like it a lot. Now what I'm pointing at right now is the instruction sheet and what made this kit so uh, likable to me is because there was only one mistake I found in the instruction sheet which is quite amazing. So, since the instruction sheet was, was good, it made the entire model easy to build. Now, I'm not much of a fan of the rubber band track system right over here, 
But Dragon has made the DS track very, very easy and very well detailed to put on. So I like it a lot. And I also like the uh, photo etch part that's on the rear deck of this tank. A very good kit. And again, I like it a lot. It's time for me to paint my model kit. And I install my homemade hood. If you plan to use enamel spray paints like I do, it's always a good idea to use a hood so you can vent out all the vapors out into the open. So the first step in painting my kit is I'm going to paint the entire model with a coat of primer. my entire model shadow so I'm going to paint my entire model black. I just removed the hood because from here on out I'm going to use acrylic spray paint. I want to give my model chip effects and the first step for me to uh, have chip effects is to spray the entire model with a coat of hairspray. I'm going to use my airbrush and paint the main color. I'm going to give my model a wash. What you see right here is a dilution of black artist oil paint and mineral spirits and I diluted it and so I'm going to put this onto my entire model to give it a wash. I'm going to do some dry brushing. What you see right here is a lighter color of the main color of the tank and what is dry brushing is basically I'm taking the color paint, taking most of it out, and then lightly brush it onto my model to give highlights. I'm going to simulate chip paint. What I have in my hand is a moistened brush with water and I'm going to put that onto areas where I think there's going to be chip paint. Then I let it um, soak into the paint for about a minute or two, which I've already done before. And I'm going to use a toothpick and I'm going to just uh, push the paint around until it starts to uh, show chip effects. I'm going to have mud effects. What you see right here is dilution of yellow glue and what you see right here is a cup of tile grout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the glue onto places where I want to have mud. And then I'm going to sprinkle on the tile grout onto the wheels.
and then I'm going to shake it off. There we go. I just painted the figure and it looks pretty good. The clothing and the facial expression looks very very nice. It looks very similar to the comic book character and if you're interested in knowing more about how I painted this particular figure, I made another video called Tamiya Russian Army Tank Crew at Rest. And in that particular video, I showed how exactly I paint figures. Okay, so I just completed building the kit. I painted it. I weathered it and now it's time for me to tell you and show you what I think about this kit. Take a look. This is the completed model kit uh, from beginning to end and I like it. Now I have to admit this to you, when I first um, got this kit I didn't think this, this was going to be a very well detailed kit because um, from my experiences when model makers make a model based upon a movie or a comic book or something like that, the, uh, the details doesn't tend to be good. But this is something very different. Dragon has really made a really nice kit. I think basically what they've done was they had just simply um, used their um, Panther regular tanks and they simply changed the decals and just added a uh, comic book figure right here to just make it into that this uh, comic book uh, model kit. Details are very, very nice, and I like the DS tracks, very nice. Um, it's quite a nice one because I'm not much of a fan of rubber band tracks, but this DS track is just really phenomenal. Very good details, and I highly recommend this for both the intermediate and the advanced modeler. I wouldn't recommend this to the beginner because it's just really complicated, even with a very good instruction sheet. That completes this model kit. This model kit is really good. Now, I am very uh, pleasantly surprised that Dragon has made a very good set of instructions for me to build this model kit. And it turned out to be, you know, it could have been a nightmare for me to actually build this kit because I was afraid that the instruction sheet was really, really bad. But it wasn't. Only found one mistake. And so it made this entire kit very enjoyable. I highly recommend, um, you know, uh, modelers for the intermediate and the advanced to build this to build this particular model kit. For those beginners that are out there, um, I'm sorry, I don't think this is really, really the right one for you because there's over 600 parts in this particular kit. Now, if you're a beginner and you really want to go for it, it's doable. But have a lot of patience. Have a lot of patience. So what you're going to see next is a video slideshow of my entire uh, completed model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this kit, I hope this video, excuse me, um, has inspired you to build a model kit of your own. Whether uh, it's a model tank, a model plane, a model ship a model train, or even an automobile. It really doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.